Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, follow, comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does watch, like, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. <sighs> I I'm coming to you to give you my reaction today about the Colicchio Assembly situation. Um, he's now been released, <laughs> which is completely ridiculous. Um, so let's start at the very beginning for, you know, some of you that may not know and catch you up to speed. We had this left guard, Colicchio Assembly, who got him from the Raiders. Uh, he was playing this season, wasn't really, you know, playing very well like the rest of our offensive line had issues. But um, comes out, I guess he tells the team, hey, listen, uh, my shoulder's jacked up. I cannot play anymore. I'm going to have a surgery. Uh, the pain's too much. I, I got to get it done. I got doctors that say can get it done. The Jets come out and basically tell him, well, look, that injury happened with the Raiders. Uh, it's allegedly a pre-existing injury. So we don't care. You know, as you say, you're in pain. We feel like you should play through it. We feel like you should be able to play through it. So unless you play through it, we're going to find you every single week until you play. This is completely ridiculous. Like, <laughs> that makes no sense to me because you can't tell someone about how their pain tolerance is with their body. Um, it's not like the guy stubbed his toe or had a paper cut. He went to doctors and he had multiple doctors tell him he needs a shoulder surgery because he has a torn labrum and it is torn off the bone. He also has a cyst uh, within that region as well because of that issue. Uh, he actually posts, he started to post things from these doctors on Instagram, these letters saying, hey, listen, you need to get the surgery. He's had multiple doctors tell him he needs to get the surgery. This does nothing but look bad for the Jets. The Jets were sending blank MRIs to his doctors to keep him from getting the surgery. He had Joe Douglas tell him face to face, you know, apologize to him for sending the blank MRIs because it was just an honest mistake. <laughs> what is going on with this football team? What is going on with this place? The Jets look horrible in this situation. What do you get out of keeping this guy from getting a surgery? What do you get out of that? I never understood it from the very beginning. If the guy said he, he needs a surgery, and it's clear as day that he does, and he's telling you, hey, I want to get the surgery in the season, then just let him go do it. Because even though you guys just released him now, which is, you, you were going to release him at the end of the season anyway. He would have been off the books. It's not like we're stuck with this guy. Could be gone at the end of the season. It wouldn't matter. Why did you have to make this so public? Why did you have to turn this into a circus-like situation? Where you got this player that needs help, that needs to get his health corrected. You know, he needs to go to the doctor, get a surgery, and you guys won't let him do it. Because you just think he should play. It's completely ridiculous. Then you worry about the fallout of all this stuff. We're already dealing with issues on the field where we're losing, and you can see that the pressure is really starting to build within this locker room, especially with a head coach like Adam Gaze. Oh, my God. But now you got the how, – how does this situation with Kalichi, how does this situation now kind of reverberate into the locker room? He came out and talked about how his teammates – told him when he was sharing the situation with him what happened, he had teammates tell him to his face, oh, this is BS. I'm not going to say the word that they said, but he said, they said, this is BS, man. This makes no sense. How do you think players now feel about how the organization views their health? These football players, listen, their bodies, their bodies are literally a business for them. If they're not healthy, if they can't run, if they can't tackle, if they can't make plays out there because they're not physically right, it's over. We're not even talking about beyond football in their regular lives, how those injuries can, can really send them down a dark path. But you can't even play with stuff like that. You can't be effective fully because you're not healthy. So what does a situation like this say to the, tell the players about how the organization feels about their health and their well-being? Also, we got guys that are coming up uh, to get re-signed. Guys that we're looking to keep. Why would they stay here? You got a situation like this, why would you re-sign here? If you're a guy that's already here, you got to look at the situation and go, well, <laughs> if something happens to me, say I fracture my foot or tear something, you know, a, a muscle really bad somewhere in my body, 
are they going to make me play or force me to play? And if I don't, they're just going to find me and take away my money, take away the ability to feed my family, so on and so forth. Man, this is crazy to me. This is completely crazy to me. And it also sends a message to free agents as well. I don't know if y'all know, this team is trash. We're not going to fix all the issues that we have with this football team in one draft. We're going to need free agents to come in here. We need to sign people. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. We have to sign people to come in here. Guess what? they are free agents that are looking at this situation that are going, that is the last place in the world that I will ever go. Because again, you got guys, you, you think guys are going to sign to come here and deal with that? They're coming from wherever teams they came from and going, oh, I got to go to the Jets, a team that's going to question if something is wrong with me. If I, if I have a problem with my body, are they going to fight me on it too? I'm just not going to sign there. I'm not even going to deal with that mess. This is, a, some, this is like the same thing that's going on with, with Trent Williams and the Redskins situation. They jacked over his medical stuff, and now he's telling them, I'm not going to play at all for you, ever. I'm never going to play for you. So you can sign, you can trade me, you can cut me, you can do whatever. I will never play with you again. And here we are, doing some dumb stuff like this. Ooh, this is mind-boggling. It's completely mind-boggling. I do not understand it. Do not get it. Don't understand what the Jets got out of it. They should have allowed this dude to go get his surgery and just quietly off into, you know, wherever he had to go and we should have cut him in the offseason. But then we do this and cause this uproar, all this whole big nonsense, and then we end up releasing him. Now you're scrambling, so you got to release him. I tell you what, people are putting the heat on Adam Gaze for this. He's an idiot. I do blame him for the fact, I mean, I, I guess you can blame, look, Kalichi was in the building for weeks and he said he never even talked to him, which is, I'm not surprised because Adam Gaze is not a leader. He's not a very good head coach. So I'm not surprised he would do something so stupid. You got a guy, a, a guy that you praised in the off season, a guy that you praised during all preseason stuff coming into the season. You were excited. He was your starting left guard. And he's got an injury, and you never talk to him in the building, even though you guys are in the building together for weeks. You never approach him and talk to him about it. That's, that just shows his lack of leadership. But just pushing that idiot aside, this is squarely on the lap of Joe Douglas. Complete roster mismanagement. This, this entire situation is just piss poorly mismanaged, and it is squarely on the lap of Joe Douglas. Oh, and then they do the surgery. <laughs> like, let's, let's not forget this as well. Then they also did the surgery, and the doctors that did the surgery said, hey, this is way more jacked up than we thought it would be. We had to do more in the surgery. So now, before he got released, he was talking about suing the team doctors. Dude, I... I am so tired of this team and the nonsense that is being that is going on <laughs> with this franchise it is unreal. It is unreal. Listen, comment down below. Let me know what you folks think about this situation. I am tired of the Jets. I'm tired of them. You folks have a good day. Peace.